To the shoreline today, people did things to try to stay one step in front of Irene. And news it's Mark Robbins live in New Haven tonight to tell us about the preemptive moves some people took today, Mark. Yeah, guys, you're absolutely right. Trying to stay one, maybe two steps ahead of this massive storm that is coming. And of course, we were along uh, I-95, the shoreline in Milford and in West Haven. And I can tell you, folks are taking it very, very seriously. In fact, they're doing a lot of the little things that you might expect, but they're also doing some major landscaping. High winds can be dangerous to big trees, so it's been a hectic time for Haight's tree experts. The calls have gotten heavy this morning since people are concerned and now taking preemptive measures. There's not much you can do. If you don't do it prior, some cavity work is bad, take it down the leaners. Within reason, everything costs money, so what it is is what it is. Immediately at the shore in Milford, the vegetation, a little smaller, but no less important. Residents are extremely cautious. Cleared everything off the beach, brought in all the chairs, the umbrellas, the sand pit, uh, all the plants, <laughs> plants on the street side. Yeah, you're preparing for the worst? Um, I always prepare. Yeah, you're not boarding up anything, but you're certainly putting in a workout, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'll be glad to be done. <laughs> uh, what made you decide to, to come and do this? Well, I was... Con I was moored out in the sound and I felt like it's too dangerous to leave it out there. While many continue to prepare for Irene, one man we found wasn't about to have his summer afternoon taken over by weather related activities. Bought water, uh, flashlights, batteries, yeah. A little extra food maybe? No, we have sufficient supply, yeah, yeah. Now that gentleman is being very calm and relaxed. The house that he lives on, lives in, in West Haven was built in 1927. It survived Hurricane Camille. And if you're not as old as Darren and I, uh, you'd have to look that up in the history books. But uh, that was a long time ago and he feels very confident that that house will again weather this impending storm. Reporting live in New Haven, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.